All right. And this would be? The no pile. Okay. Um, that is what? The maybe pile. Is there even a yes pile? At Logan's department store, if only we could have gotten in. Yeah, but the storm knocked out the power, didn't it? I, I can't believe we've, we've gone through her entire closet and, and half of these boxes and we still haven't found something Nora could wear to her wedding. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll come up with something, right? It might involve a scarf. <laughs> or massive shoulder pads. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? I'm guessing there's a reason she never unpacked these boxes. Uh... Maybe we should check to see if the power's back on at Logan's. No, honey, I think we're better off sticking with Nora's wardrobe. At least that way we'll come up with something she likes, right? Are we, Vicky? Or something she used to like. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Oh, I think it's perfect. I think it's a wedding dress. No. No. That's the dress she wore when she married Clint. Well, I hope Roxy and Natalie are having better luck than we are. Roxy! What? Um, you know, I was uh, just gonna go track down my good friend, Videl Bassoon. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh, let her go, Natalie. There's no way I'm gonna let her touch my hair a second time. Yeah, like I said, I'm on my way. No, don't listen to Nora, okay? She's just upset right now. Yeah, because of me! Okay, and that's why you gotta step up, okay? There's no way we're gonna get someone over here to fix this right now. You don't get it. I am off my game. I have lost my mojo. I got a case of the yips. I shouldn't be allowed near a scalp. I'm a screw-up. I'm a loser. I'm a follicular killer! Snap out of it! You're not a follicular killer. You are Roxanne Louise Lipschitz Balsam, and they don't call this place Foxy Roxy's for nothing because you are the bitchiness hairdresser on this side of the Delaware Water Gap. Where? Come on, Roxy. You just had one mishap. Are you just gonna give up? Tuck your tail between your legs? No, no, no. You are going to get up and brush yourself off and go in there and make the biggest kick-ass bowl of red hair dye anyone's ever seen. Pick myself up? Who are you? Roxy? Oh, I didn't hear you. Who are you? Foxy Roxy? Damn right. Now you get over there and tell that hair who's boss. You can do this. This had better work, boss. Trust me. This is foolproof. Needs oregano. I would kill for some garlic bread. It's Nora. Hi, Bo. Hey, you sound happy. Oh, I am. Aren't you? Yeah, more than happy. I'm just red with excitement. Yeah. I'm green with envy. So what's up? Oh, nothing. Just called to check in. Have, uh, have you seen a rain? Yeah, I have. Uh, that's a little disappointing. Yeah, a little. Do you... Do you... What? Do you... What? What, what did you... What, no, no, what did you say? No, no I was just going to say that, uh, honey, I can't wait to take the plunge. Me neither. Just wonder, uh, unless, do you want to postpone? Uh, n uh wh why? Do you want to? Of course not. Well, me neither. Oh, okay then. Okay, so we're doing this today. Oh, yeah. Come hell or high water. I guess I'll see you later. Can't wait. Yeah, hey, Red, hey, uh, you sure everything's okay over there? You betcha. Love you. Love you too. Yeah, sure. Everything's okay. Situation normal. All fouled up. Trust me, you are going to come out of this smelling better than you have ever smelled. I think that's the vodka talking. You want a Bloody Mary? Uh, I feel like a stalk of celery right now. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all set, Wilson. No, I got this tomato sauce from a pizza place. It's the best. 
Just make sure that it works. It will work. Trust me. Something happened to me like this when I was younger. Just ask Gigi. She was there. We were camping, and we came across an angry skunk. Her arabiata saved my bacon. But you went Gigi, huh? You never short on the adventures. Do you have any on your uh, New Mexico trip? There were a few tight spots, but we got through them okay. Good. Did you find what you're looking for? I found out who my parents were. It's a long story. What about Balsam? I got time. Well, I couldn't have gotten through without Gigi. I feel like I'm on the Titanic and someone just handed me a bucket. No, scratch that. A, a teacup. I know it looks bad, but we mustn't give up just yet. After all, there are lots of boxes left to go through. Lots of boxes. I can't believe poor Nora is having all this bad luck. It makes the trip out west with Rex look like a picnic. Whatever happened with that? Oh, you know, it, it's a long story, but it turns out that Rex's parents had a very tragic life. Oh, oh. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Very sorry. But that's not exactly what I was talking about. Then what were you talking about? Gigi, come on, this is me. What? What? <laughs> what happened out there? Did you and Rex get back together? Look. Okay, are you, are you ready? Because Nora's getting kind of antsy. I think I got it. Okay, this ain't gonna be easy. It was only done once before, and that was in North Korea. All right, honey, we're running out of time, so I guess it's now or never. Let's make hair history. did my best. It's now in the hands of the hair gods. Out him. Dad! Dad, where are you? Oh! Oh, never mind. Stay as far away from this room as possible. Oh! Oh! So my mother's dead, and for all I know, my father could be dead too. But he still might be out there. Either way, he's long gone. So you're just gonna stop looking for him after all this? Maybe someday. But the way I figure, every road that I've gone down looking for my parents has led me back here to Landview, and the people I really care about. Right now, I just need to focus on my, my family and my life that I have here. That includes Gigi? Yeah, she's, she's Shane's mom. Mm -hmm. She's also the woman you love. Must have been like old times for you about out there in the West, two of you just working together. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we need to get the uh, tomato sauce in your hair. Well, no, no, okay, we really gotta lather it in. Settle down, Balsam. Now just tell me the truth, okay? You still love Gigi, and you want her back. The trip out west was about finding Rex's parents, and that's what we did. And nothing else happened? Oh, lots happened. We broke into a jewelry store, got caught by the owner, got thrown in jail. You were in jail? Yeah, we shared a cell. Oh, you were in jail together. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I'll bet it wasn't. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, honey, I think it would be lovely for you and Rex to be in such close quarters. And I am really hoping that you would like that to happen again. I mean, not the jail part. 